Welcome to Countout. In this lesson, we're going to be looking at an annuity due. We're going to go through some examples on how to calculate an annuity due using the financial calculator, the HP 10B2+. We've done these same examples before, but we did them using the formula. So if you'd like to check that one out, you'll find the link in the description below. Okay, so now let's look at our example. The first one says that John deposits 3,000 rand into a savings account at the beginning of each year for a period of 10 years. This investment earns 5% interest compounded annually. Calculate how much you will receive in 10 years time. Okay, so he's obviously depositing this amount every year at the beginning okay at the beginning of every year and that's why it's an annuity due because the payments occur at the beginning and it's at the beginning of every year okay so that's why we know it's an annuity due okay and it's at the rate of five percent interest compounded annually okay now the compounding also matters here because this calculator by default is compounded monthly now we need to change that into annually so how do we do that we just press one because we want it to be annually, which is one payment per year. And then we press the orange button. And then we press here, it's written PMT. You can see under it's written P slash YR. Okay. And then now it's one payment per year. Okay. So the calculator now knows that. So if you press C again, if you press the orange button and then you press C, you can see now it's showing us one payment per year. Before we made that change, you press the orange button and you, may, and you press C. And then you will see that it's, it's actually 12 payments per year. So now we've changed it to one payment per year because it's compounded annually. Another thing that we need to change, we need to change the calculator to show annuity due, okay? Payments at the beginning of the year because by default, it's an ordinary annuity, okay? It's at the end of the year. So we need to put it to the beginning of the year. How do we do that? You just press the orange button and then you press here. It's written MAR. You can see underneath it's written begin slash end, okay? And you can see the begin word is written down there underneath the screen okay which means that it's in begin mode that's what we want whenever you're calculating an annuity due calculation you will have to ensure that it's at the beginning mode okay now we can do the calculation the number of years is 10 years so we just press 10 and then we press n okay and then the interest rate is five percent so just press five and then you press i slash yr and then the payment is three thousand because we're going to be making this payment at the beginning of each year for the next 10 years so we just press three thousand and then we put it as a negative so you press this plus slash minus sign okay to put it as a negative why is the negative because it's paying this payment into a fixed deposit account so it's going to be putting this into a savings account every year so it's leaving his account that's why it's a negative okay so that we want our future value to appear as a positive okay and then you press pmt and then you just press fv and you can see there is our present there our future value if he is to put three thousand rand at the beginning of each year for the next 10 years in an account that earns five percent interest compounded annually he will get thirty nine thousand six hundred and twenty rand thirty six cents that is how much you will receive in 10 years time okay so obviously if you put pmt as a positive if you leave it as a positive your fv or future value will appear as a negative okay so it's just a science it doesn't mean much okay i hope it's making sense so far now let's go to our, to our second example we are told that john wants to make an investment that will pay him 2000 rand at the beginning of every month for the next three years if the investment offers an interest rate of 12 percent per annum compounded monthly how much should he invest today Okay, so before we continue, we just make sure we clear our calculator, we clear the memory, so we just press the orange button, and then we press C. Okay, now we've cleared our memory. The second thing here we note is that it's obviously, it's obviously at the beginning of the year, so obviously it's still annuity due. So we leave our our, 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 our the mode here to begin mode, okay? So we, put it, we leave it at begin mode, which we had initially put. And then the third thing we note here is that it's compounded monthly, okay? So... It's now monthly and it's no longer yearly or annually like the first example told us. So now we need to change the calculator from annually that we had put now back to monthly, okay? Because by default, it's monthly. So if you want to check again that it's annually, just press orange button and then you press C and you can see it's still one payment per year. We wanted to say 12 payments per year because it's compounded monthly. So how do we do that? We just press 12. The same way we change it to, be, to once and then you press orange and then you press here with written PMT. Now it's 12 payments per year. For you to check, you just press orange and then C just to clear your memory and you can see 12 per year appears. Okay, and make sure obviously it's in begin mode because it's an annuity due. Okay, now we know that it's for three years. So we press three, but because the payments are occurring more than once per year or because the compounding is more than once per year, we don't just press three and press n okay we press three we press the orange button and then we press n 
okay what it has done now it has taken the number of years and multiplied it by the number of compoundings per year and in this case that's taken three and multiplied it by 12 okay and that is why it gives you 36 there so always ensure that if it's more than one payment per year then you press the number of years you press the orange button and then you press n okay for you to multiply obviously making sure that the compoundings that you have put in the calculator is the correct one and in our case it's 12 compoundings per year okay the interest rate is 12 percent, so i'm just gonna put 12 and then i slash y r and then the investment will pay him 2000 rand at the beginning of every month so i put 2000 i'm gonna leave this one as a positive because he's going to be paid to the 2000 rand and i press pmt okay and then how much should he invest today so how much should he invest today is to get 2000 rand at the end of every month for the next three years we just so what we want here is the present value so i just i'm just going to press pv and there it has given me he must invest 60,000 817 rand and 16 cents if it's to get 2000 rand at the end of every month for the next three years okay and after we're done with our calculation let me clear my screen always make sure that you remove it from the begin mode because if you leave it there by mistake then the calculations that you'd be doing for ordinary annuity and many others might give you wrong answers and students usually make that mistake of just leaving it there and forgetting to taking it off so how do you take it off you do the exact same way we put it in we just press the orange button and then we press here mar and it's off now now it's ordinary annuity by default i hope this lesson has made sense i hope you have gained value and if you have please subscribe to our channel like this video and share it to those you think it might help till next time cheers